Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to discuss problem number seven, which came in ISA B Math B Stat 2022. So many of you requested uh, the solution for this problem because uh, the writing or uh, whatever you have done uh, to prove this problem, you have to be very very careful with the proof. That is, uh, if you are say, uh, many of you have uh, uh, taken it as uh, one to the power infinity and directly use the form, so it may not fetch you full marks if you are doing that and uh, because how you are getting that form and uh, where uh, so what you are using it's not any theorem or any well known result so how you are getting that you have to prove it and uh, some of you have also done uh, log x expansion okay so in that also you have to be uh, very sure that your expansion works okay in uh, i mean uh, in which interval you are expanding okay so that the series that you are writing is converging otherwise the equality doesn't hold okay so yeah with with that in mind uh, so let's proceed with the proof so uh, problem 7 says that you have a polynomial px 1 plus 2x plus 7x squared plus 13x cube where x is real calculate for all real x limit n tends to infinity px over n hold to the power n so let's see what this uh, thing is p of x over n whole to the power n so first of all p x is equal to 1 plus 2 x plus 7 x squared plus 13 x cube okay and now we'll just simply do p of x over n whole to the power n okay and so this becomes nothing but uh, 1 plus 2x over n plus 7x squared over or x over n whole squared plus 13x over n whole cube. Okay. And whole to the power n of course. So now let's do something that is uh, I'll be taking 2x over n common so I'll be getting then 1 plus 7 over 2 x over n plus 13 over 2 x over n uh, whole squared okay bracket close uh, this bracket closing hold to the power n okay so now basically you see that for particular real x when n is tending towards infinity x over n is going towards 0 and so this part is going towards 0 as n tends to infinity okay and so for that what we can do is we can write that uh, so there exists epsilon like uh, or sorry uh, let uh, epsilon be greater than 0 so for any epsilon greater than 0 we have uh, I mean if you are taking any uh, epsilon neighborhood around 0 then what will happen is after a certain stage the sequence will be uh, there in that epsilon neighborhood and thus uh, so for any epsilon greater than 0 uh, for all n greater than equals to n naught what we have is this thing that is 7 over 2 x over n plus 13 over 2 x over n whole squared would be I mean modulus of that would be lesser than or equals to epsilon okay epsilon is any real number greater than 0 so that means we are taking any positive uh, so this radius is always positive so any uh, mm. ne epsilon neighborhood around 0 okay so then next what next we have to come to this form p uh, x over n okay so let's come to that form so sorry yeah so 1 so what was that form 1 plus 2x over n okay sorry yeah 
वन प्लस टू एक्स ओवर एन देन यू हैव वन हियर प्लस सेवन बाई टू एक्स ओवर एन प्लस थर्टीन बाई टू एक्स ओवर एन होल स्क्वेर ब्रैकेट क्लोज एंड मॉड ओके बट यू सी दैट इफ यू क्लोज द मॉड इट डजेंट वर्क बिकॉज वी हैव सम एक्स्ट्रा टर्म्स दैट वी हैव एडिड एंड सो वी शुड सब्ट्रैक्ट इट सो माइनस वन प्लस टू एक्स ओवर एन सो इफ आई डू दिस I see that only uh, the previous thing is getting multiplied by 2x over n, and so this would be lesser than equals to epsilon times 2 mod x divided by n. So since 2 and n are positive, so it's only mod is going for only x. Okay, and now if you break this, like the modulus sign, so it will be lesser than equals to epsilon. Uh, times 2 mod x over n and greater than equals to minus of that uh, 2 epsilon mod x over n. So from there you get an interval, and if you take this on the other side, so for this part you get an interval where it belongs, and that is like uh, we can write that 1 plus 2 x over n 1. Plus seven over two x over n plus thirteen over two x over n whole squared. This thing belongs to the interval one plus two x uh, over n, and then uh, that thing. So together combined, we are getting two over n x. Minus epsilon mod x, and uh, so the upper uh, limit would be one uh, plus two x plus epsilon mod x. Okay, so now we got that this thing, which is uh, this p x over n. this thing as you can see here this is px over n this inside part not whole to the power n just the inside part px over n here okay and that thing is lying within this interval okay and so now what we know that limit of or 1 plus t over n Whole to the power n goes towards e to the power t as n tends to infinity, and so now since you have this p of x over n greater than equals to this thing and lesser than equals to this thing, so we can if you are taking both side to the power n, okay, so then. Let's look at the limits on both the sides. So we can say that. So we'll be using this, right? So we know this. We know this, and we'll be using this. So then, what it becomes is uh, e to the power two x minus epsilon mod x. is lesser than equals to limit infimum n tends to infinity p of x over n whole to the power n is lesser than equals to lim infimum uh, n tending towards infinity if you are not uh, uh, if you don't know the about this infimum or uh, supremum so then just uh, i mean you can take just simply the limit okay so this is limit infima and this is limit suprema uh, p of x over n whole to the power n and this is 
लेसर दैन और इक्वल्स टू e टू दी पावर टू एक्स प्लस एप्साइलन मॉड एक्स ओके एंड नाउ यू सी दैट दिस थिंग बोथ द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड द राइट एक्सट्रीम लेफ्ट एंड एक्सट्रीम राइट इफ यू टेक नाउ दिस इज ट्रू फॉर एनी एप्साइलन ग्रेटर दैन जीरो ओके सो देन इफ वी टेक एप्साइलन टेन टू वर्ड जीरो सो देन वट वी गेट इज दैट इज लिमिट एन टेंस टू इन्फिनिटी पी ऑफ एक्स ओवर एन होल टू दावर एन इज इक्वल टू ई टू दावर टू एक्स बिकॉज दैट एप्साइलन पार्ट इज गोइंग टू वर्ड्स जीरो ओके एंड थर्स आवर आंसर इज दिस ई टू दावर टू एक्स एंड हेन्स प्रूव ओके सो बी केयरफुल अबाउट यूर प्रूफ वट एवर यू हैव यूज इन द एग्जाम सो इफ यू हैव गिवेन द करेक्ट इफ यू हैव गिवेन द करेक्ट अप्रोच बट यू माइट नॉट हैव गिवेन द करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन सो प्लीज डू चेक इट आउट यू माइट नॉट गेट फुल मार्क्स ओके एंड दैट्स इट फॉर दिस वीडियो Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. See you in the next one.